Well, can we finally do some calculus now? Well, a little bit. Yes, just a little. Let's look at some derivative rules for vector valued functions of a single parameter. Maybe, maybe you would be able to come up with the following rules on your own. Let's say we have two time dependent vector functions, u of t and v of t. So u and t are vectors for each time t. Then if you take the dot product, u dot v, differentiate that with respect to time, you get a product rule u dot v prime is u prime dot v plus u dot v prime works just like the old product rule that you know and love but now for dot products that's cool hey i wonder if it works for cross products and the answer is yes it does work for cross products hey that's pretty cool how would you show something like that do we have to remember this um no you don't we're going to learn something more general later but for now let's just Let's just play around with these, see what we could use them for. Let's use them in a little bit of celestial mechanics. And think about how the solar system works. Earth uh, goes around the sun. I think that's how it works. Yes, that's how it works. Uh, why? Oh, because of uh, gravity, right? F equals MA, and there's a gravitational rule for that that says that that, um, that force is going to be in the direction of the um, position vector r from the sun to the earth. The magnitude of it depends on the gravitation constant, on the masses, etc., etc. But what we want to do is show that the earth orbits about the sun in a plane using this gravitation rule and a little bit of derivatives. Okay, here's how we're going to prove this. Consider what happens when we take the cross product of the position vector r with the velocity vector v and then differentiate that cross product with respect to time. Why is that gonna help us? Ooh, think about the geometry of the cross product of R with V, it's perpendicular to both. I can use the product rule for the cross product to say that that derivative is R prime cross V plus R cross V prime. And now, now what can I do? I could say, well, look, R prime is really V and V prime is really A, the acceleration, and look, on the left, I have V cross V. I know, I know from what the cross product does that that's zero. And I know from the gravitation law what the acceleration is. The acceleration is parallel to the position vector R by whatever constants those are. So in the end, what I get is that the time rate of change of R cross V is um, some scalar multiple of R cross R, and that is zero. That means that R cross V, the cross product of those two vectors, never changes. That means that the plane spanned by R and V stays constant. Derivative is zero, means it doesn't change. That means the Earth moves about the sun within a plane. That's pretty cool using just a little bit of information about cross products and derivatives.